What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Guess what we got? Are those seat belts? Shit. Look at this right here. So, <clears throat> if you didn't know, now you know. My seat belts in my car have been locked for the last month or two. So, I've been driving no seat belts for quite a while. But now the time has changed and it's time to install some racing seat belts. Of course, I got the Tonical ones on Amazon. They're like 50 bucks. They, I would consider them a budget seat belt, but we're gonna find out if they're worth the price. Seems like they gave us some nice things, some stickers, some bolts, a little message and other stuff. Anyway, here's the cam lock, the straps, and then the other lap belt. They're the two inch version of these. I wanted the three inch. The three inch was out of stock, so I don't know what that's about. Not my problem. I just need some seat belts. You did see the other box. That's what I need this for. So. Typically people mount their seat belts into the OEM spots and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. No one really gets the harness bar and completes the job. But in this case, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take out the rear seats and install this set of black straps, black harness bar. Sticker's gonna go there. Might as well put it now. Screw it, right? Hello, beautiful. That's my new wheel. I don't think I did a, did a video on it, but I've only got one for right now. We're doing one at a time because I'm being smart with the money. <laughs> but uh, here's all my stuff. We're gonna take apart this motherfucker right quick. Hello, gorgeous. All right. Also, green interior. Yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. All right, first mission is take out the back seats so we got a little bit more space back there. Plus, you know, I'm gonna go with the race car look, so might as well. Oh, mother. All right, I ain't got the best angle here, but I'm gonna make it plain and simple. To take out the back seats, focus on the bottom first, just pull that shit up. Wow, that took more than five fucking seconds. Wow. Back seats are out. Now, right, the second piece, all you gotta do is disconnect the bolts, which I probably won't do just because, you know what? I just need the back seats, the bottom off, so I don't think I want to take it off. You know what? I'm going to leave the top piece on just so it looks a little bit cleaner. Also, I hate when shit flies into the interior from the trunk, so this is fine for me, actually. On to the next part. All right, here's the hardest part. Pretty simple, straightforward. You're going to mount it in the car like this. Make sure the uh, bars are up, facing up. I've never watched a video on this, maybe one time, but I didn't finish it, of course. So, I'm gonna just figure it out myself. These little slots right here, in the middle of the bar, or the end of the bar, should I say, are um, mounting them to the side of the car, where the original seat belts are, to your car with this. Now, the direction, I'm not too sure yet. I'm pretty sure you can choose, because this, this will put the bar out way farther than you would like, maybe. You could even do it like this, but it really depends. So we're gonna figure it out right now. Yeah, you get the vibe. Pretty sure it goes like this, you find out. After I mount the bar and everything else, we're gonna use this to support the bottom piece, like this, simple. This is gonna connect to the bottom part of the seat belt and keep the bar sturdy. We really have the best angle to do this, but thankfully I have a flash. So. First part, we are going to pop this clip on the seat belt. It's gonna pull up. I thought it pulled down, did not. This is probably a 14, but just fuck around with your tools. Pop the second clip off. I already took it off, this right here. Just get the flathead and just pry anywhere. It'll pop off pretty easily. Um, this shit's already scratched, but I don't give a fuck. I'm really debating if I should just put in the harnesses first and then the bar. That'd probably be easier, right? Yeah, let's do the harnesses. Since I'm doing the harnesses first, um, show you how to do that i'm going to mount mine on my seat bracket so this is the main one the one with the cam lock so what i'm gonna do is get this piece right here there's a bolt under here that i'm gonna show you and mount it on the bottom like this so like that it's gonna wrap around the seat and then boom locked in i'm gonna do it on on the same side too there's gonna be a clip for this, this thing protecting it boom already off you're gonna mount it to here mount it to there Boom, bottom is on. Start shitting bricks, y'all. So I was going to put this on or like to test fit it and everything, but the bolts they gave me, these, there's like three of them, they don't fit the thread pattern in my car. 
So I was like, shit, bro, I'm fucking screwed. But it turns out this piece right here where the seatbelt was on, was uh, attached to, these little big washers, they unscrew, thankfully. So that means I can use this bolt. Also, I caught it. Uh, I cut my seatbelt just because I don't even use it anyway. So I don't like shit just dangling there. It's, it's not doing anything, so I might as well just take it off. So seat bolts are cut and new seat belts are going in. This is our end. So I took a different approach to this. I actually lifted my seat up and the rail and slid the actual piece under it because I feel like it was not enough uh, thread to hold on for it to be safe. This way is a lot better because now the seat belt harness is actually flat. And I did it on the other side too. As you can see, it's under under the seat rail which is i think a lot safer this motherfucker is not coming up like <clears throat> harness bottom harness is set easy next up these we're gonna figure this out right now all right so i got the harnesses bolted in of course you already know the seats the one on the bottom of the seat now these i used the old seat belt uh lock and the old seat belt mounting points I also loosened the, I mean, I tightened the belts, but I don't think I need to because I have the bar. So I'm going to just adjust it once I get the bar in. So that being said, the bar is next. Summary, summary. Here we go. Tuck that piece away. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Take this bolt off and same for the other side. Mount the bar in and then connect the bottom pieces so we can match the height. So I took off the seat belt things and here's what we got. We're going to take off this washer. So we can use the same bolt and also, I'm gonna, I mean, the same bolt, we need the same bolt and two washers from here. And then I'm going to save this, I'm not going to throw it away. Maybe the next owner of this car will want old seat belts, but why the fuck, why? This is what we got so far. This is bolted in, not completely, but it will be. We are going to use this bar, we're going to slide into there, boom, boom, they're going to connect. And then we're going to do it the same thing on the other side. I'm just taking my time on this, honestly. All right, so the harness, thanks for starting your car right now. The harness bar and harness are in. Everything's mounted up. Everything's super freaking secure. Nothing's gonna move. And I'm fucking excited to use this shit. I think they're in. They work. They're sticking. <gasps> they're strong. You know, that shit freaking hurts. Uh, they're still in. Even the lock switch works. Boom. Not too bad. So they look outside the car. And then, of course, saw the harness bar already. Really clean, honestly. With this project was to make sure it came out OEM clean. I do wish that Tonica sticker was a little bit more better, but I'll put it down there. Uh, my goal here was to make it look as OEM as possible, meaning like clean, put together, and very organized, I guess you could say. And I think I definitely took care of that. Thing that I mounted up, all the little holes and everything. I think that I took the time to mount up is in the, the spot for a reason and for the right reason. Probably like an hour and a half, two hours with patience. I think an hour and a half, honestly. It didn't take that long. So that being said, uh, seat belts are in, harnesses are in. I think they're good quality for the price. I paid what, like I said, 50 bucks for the harness. Harness bar was 75, not too bad. I will link the stuff that I got down below. Just don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 700 subscribers. Last month we were at 600, now we're at like 671. I am really liking the progress that I'm getting on this channel. And now it's about time I kick it up a notch, which is what I'm working on right now. So just be patient. But anyways, subscribe down below. Like the video if you found this video helpful. As always, I will see y'all in the next video. Gonna be a little bit more exciting than this, but you know what? Racing seatbelts, let's go. See y'all in the next video.